you can access the history of zero from various sources. Here we will try to understand what the zero concept is. Before describing the zero concept, I will try to explain the concept of existence. Zero is the origin of everything. Zero is the starting point of everything. It covers everything that exists. It is the place where everything is the most and the least. It is not a zero number. Zero is a situation. Everything can exist by leaving it from scratch. Now I try to explain these things. According to today's cosmology science, the universe is balanced in all respects. It is neutral. There is no such thing as a space in the house. In the space called space, particle pairs are created at any moment. And they create and neutralize each other quickly. If any one of these particles gets tangled up in a strong field of attraction without being neutralized, they are separated from each other so that they are created into, so they are both created. There is a delicate balance in the universe, something has to diminish as something increases, or vice versa. It is the zero balance point in order for the equilibrium to exist and be able to be preserved. It must produce a reserve of what exists. It's like an equal arm scales, matter and the matter. Positive, negative. Death life. Hunger toughness concepts such as mutual existence, balancing. We can say the opposite, so we can say that they mutually exist. A full environment means an empty environment elsewhere. If we understand this, we can better understand some concepts that seem to be contradictory in mathematics. For example, 8 divided by 2 there seems to be a contradiction here. Because it is a number greater than negative 2, negative 8 can a small thing include four layers of something bigger than itself. Your math teacher may not be able to give a reasonable answer to this situation. In fact, there is no contradiction here. There is a misunderstanding of the existence mechanism of the numbers. This means, inside negative 8 gapped there are four times as much as negative 2 gapped. Negative 8 is a smaller number but a bigger gapped. Just like growing potatoes. As the potato grows, the gap forms grows. Everything that we perceive of their existence has to conform to this mechanism of existence in order for something to exist as a material. It needs to occur as a neutralizing opposition. Everything is neutralization point. The starting point is zero. It must occur at negative one when plus one is in the number. When plus two occurs, negative two occurs. It lasts forever. What they have depends on each other. If one does not exist, the other does not exist. The origin of both is zero. But, they can exist by exiting the origin. So they're both in zero. Zero includes both, so zero is the place where everything is the most. It is not a zero number, it includes all the numbers or things that are candidates to exist. Everything is balanced at zero point, everything is muted there, just like something goes up as much as it goes down simultaneously. An object that makes this move will seem to stop, more like a simultaneous decline while something grows. This is exactly the zero point, that's neutral, at zero. Everything is at its most intense, i.e., neuter. There is no difference between the sum of plus 5 and negative 5 and the sum of plus 1000 and negative 1000. The two are ultimately neuter. The fact that these two processes are zero means that they are neuter. It would be more accurate to say that they are actually within the scope of zero. From this point of view, the sum of plus infinity and infinity is not a number, it is neuter. This total is not equal to zero. It is a neutrality that is in the scope of zero, they're in zero, because, in both, the source, i.e., the origin, i.e. the exit point is zero, plus while infinite progress, infinite must advance to exist, or vice versa, the sum of everything that exists in the universe is neuter, by mean zero, to examples from life, it does not seem to have a chance to feel the happiness of someone who easily gets everything he wants, if there is no hardship and labor it will not be happiness because it can't not be perceived, typically, such people use drugs or commit different crimes, because they feel happiness only then they produce distress. Somewhere sadness grows, potential of happiness grows. 
in the face of this pain of someone suffering from toothache. Happiness and comfort must reproduce, this is the happiness and relief that is felt after the pain has passed, the sum of pain and relief is zero, the result is neuter, however, the same person did not feel this happiness day before. Because he did not have pain in the teeth the day before, if there is no hardship it will not be happiness because it can't not be perceived.